So it's another divorce. Um, nobody should be surprised by this. The people's falling out on the internet yesterday. They was like, no. So I made my post yesterday. No. I don't think anybody's is surprised if you know their story with Jody and Joshua. I mean, I was happy for them initially, but then when I heard how one night stands and she proposed to him, I was like, hell no. And, uh, uh. So I guess she got tired of being the man, right? Is that what it is? She got tired of being the man. Y'all like my headband? It's actually a necklace. I needed something for my hair. So I was like, well, let me try this for my hair. So I'm taking this. Thank you. Thank you, Cousin Jojo. They sent this to me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Early birthday. Thank you, Cousin Jojo. I appreciate it. Love you. Mwah. Um, I don't think we're surprised by this, right? Law, let me just say, because people people think that when we say we're not surprised by this, that we're happy that a couple is getting divorced. No, they're driving up the divorce rate. And when a couple gets a divorce, it's like pulling one of your limbs out of your body. But it is also important to make sure to make sure that we are choosing the right husband, right, ladies. It is important, ladies, that we go into the marriage and the relationship being in the prize and being adored. You're 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 one night one night standing, getting pregnant, proposing. Girl, it's not gonna work. So this is CNN. Shout out to uh CNN, you know, for the haters that come over here. So you're gossiping. Okay, be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. Thank you, thank you for those of you who got my my number one bestseller book to over 2,000 reviews. I appreciate it. I love you, I adore you. Uh, and Tamar, I'm going to do Tamar separately because I think Tamar is more of the example of the type of woman we kind of deal with over here. We are pay attention to the red flags. What's in front of you, ma'am? You think he going to treat you better? All right. So be sure to subscribe. I am on my way to 30,000 subscribers. I think I'm at 29,500. My birthday is October 11th. I would love to get there, but I'm in vacation mood, y'all. I'm like, mm, I don't know. Y'all might not see me for a couple of days. Okay, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay. Shout out to CNN. This is CNN. It says Jody Turner Smith and Joshua Jackson to divorce. Uh, Jody Turner Smith and Joshua Jackson are parting ways. The Queen and Slim Star filed a petition to divorce Jackson on Monday in Los Angeles, according to court records. The two married in 2019 and share a young daughter. Turner Smith has requested equally share custody of their child in early September. The two are actors were photographed celebrating Turner's birthday in New York. They met in 2018 at an event for Usher. She received on light, late night with Seth Meyers in 2021, when I first met my husband, we had a one night stand. She said, we're in a two, three year, one night stand now. And May Jackson appeared on Watch What Happens Live and that he fell in love with Turner when she walked into the room. So you fell in love with her to the point that you wanted to take her in the back and slam her. Okay. CNN has reached out for both uh, Jack's job. Ja both Jackson and Turner Smith representations for comments. So there's no, there's no comments there. Um, so there's, there's a lot of rumors going around, you know, that he's just, um, let me be careful how I say this now. He is, um, I don't want to say typical, He liked to use words that a husband should never use, a white husband should never use to his wife. See, this is why I be trying to stick with my own, because I don't need you coming out your face and calling me the N-word. You understand what I mean? I I I don't need nobody. And and you know that she has color colorism issues. You know, I don't like to deal with the color issue because no matter how I say it, it's going to come out wrong. 
okay? It's going to come out wrong. So I just try to 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 steer free of the colorism thing, but it is real in this country and she's not from here, right? She's from another country. And I think when you are not from the United States and you come here, you might not really understand the whole colorism thing, right? But we're living in a time where the American culture is just all over the place. Everywhere you go, you can see the American culture. And they were talking in the groups that, you know, she, she has colorism that she's, she doesn't, she said she had issues with her, her, her dark skin. And, you know, she wanted to marry this white man. So her daughter won't have the same issues that, that she's had uh, with her skin because she is dark. And, you know, as black people, we're all mixed up, right? We can't help what complexion we come out. I, I can't, I couldn't help. I could not help that my, both of my parents are darker, of a darker pigmentation. But I just, I look just like my grandmother. I look like my great grandmother. And the older I get, I'm looking more like my grandmother. You know, my, my great grandmother looked like a, a white woman with white hair and freckles. I remember her. So I just, I just feel as parents, we need to do those things to help everybody feel loved and accepted. I've shared before how Lexi, my daughter, this was in the nineties. Let me, let me, let me tell you the time period. This was in the nineties. And Lexi was in preschool. Preschool is three years old, four years old. And I went to pick her up from preschool. She was crying. And I said, my honey, what's wrong? What's wrong? All oh, the kids, they said, you're not my mom because I'm black and you're white. This was in the 90s. Preschool is three years old. You go to preschool at three years old. What does three and four year olds know about that there is a slight pigmentation difference between me and Lexi? So what and 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 it was it was more Hispanic kids. It was very few black children. So what, what did they know? Three and four year old know about? Oh, there's a difference between Lexi and J and Lexi and her mom's complexion, right? There's a slight, what, what does three, why are three and four year olds saying that's not your mama because you're black and she's white? What were they talking in their household? What, what were, was those other culture children and parents talking about in their household at three and four that they could say, oh, Lexi and her mom that's not her mom because she, she's, she's. So for as parent, as parents, we have to have these conversations with our children to love themselves, accept themselves for who they are. And God created you in his image. You see, look at your face. You see God. When I was in school, I wrote a paper that was like, what's the color of God? I still have that paper. I said, God is the color of the rainbow. He said, so the teacher, so God has red, purple. I say, yeah, I got an A for that paper. I got an A for that paper. 
Oh, God looks like the rainbow. <laughs> so Jody has had issues with her complexion and, um, you know, it has caused her to say maybe if her daughter is lighter, then she will not have the issues she's she's had. Uh, this one is by TMZ. Jody Turner Smith Foster divorced from Joshua. Beautiful girl. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It says Jody is pulling the, the pull, pull log on her marriage. Joshua Simmons has learned she has filed for divorce. The British actress model cites the uh, boilerplate ir irreconcilable differences as a reason for the divorce, according to the docs filed by Disco Queen. Uh, Jody is asking for joint custody of their three year old daughter, Juno. Jody wants to take spousal support off the table for both her and Joshua. There's no prenup in place. Child, one night staying and no prenup. Oh, the date of separation, September 13, Jody and Joshua met during his 28th birthday bash, and their relation was immediately fast tracked. They got engaged just months later after he slammed her in the back for the one night stand. The two went on Beverly Hills Courthouse, courthouse to snag a wedding license before most people knew they were even dating. She's beautiful. There were break of rumors in 2022 after they unfollowed each other on Israel, but they attended the Oscar Ball in March in Louisville. And and he's he's been cheating, right? There's a picture of him out here cheating, kissing, kissing another girl. Ladies, we have to make sure the foundation is right. We got to make sure. I think she just got tired of being the man. She's the man in the marriage. So she got tired of being the man. Anyways, let me know what you think about this. Do I have time to do Tamar? I think I do. I absolutely love you. Check out that shorts I just did. Uh, people always want to come over here and talk about, I pray your husband don't divorce you. What if I divorce him? Love you. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.